Hey guys, um, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have some thrifting items that I want to show you. It's been a little bit since I recorded a video. I think I recorded a video around Father's Day. And I actually haven't posted that video yet. Um, you, I probably will post it when I post this one. Um, but yeah, so I have some stuff that I got at Goodwill, which a couple of the items... I don't know where they're at. There is um, a couple of my daughter's uh, things and then one of my items and then um, there are a couple things that were already given to people that I grabbed them for um, and I'll try to insert images of those two things at the end of the video because they're really good finds. Um, but yeah, so I went to Goodwill a week ago. Um, first thing I want to show you is this Nike jacket. Now, this was a plain black jacket. I've already bleach dyed it. Um, but it's just a black Nike hoodie that I got. And I've already bleach dyed it because I'm really into the bleach dye. Um, but yeah, it was just a plain black Nike hoodie. I got that for $6.99. Um, and I also got some Nike sweats that were $7.99. I just don't know where they're at. They're somewhere in our laundry. Um, my daughter also got a pair of jeggings for $4.99 and a really cool BV-8 jacket, like, pulled up over the head, and it's got this, like, netting on the front that looks like BV's, BV-8's face. Um, that's at her grandma's, but we got that for $7.99, and it looked brand new. There was no stains on it or anything. And then, uh, I also got her this green jacket it's a Levi's jacket and it's like a kind of like a corduroy um, but it's got the Sherpa lining um, really nice jacket um, it was in really good shape I don't know if it was really used or anything like that but it's really nice um, at that trip I also got the final book I was missing for my number series by Janet Ivanovich. Um, I got High Five. This was $3.99. Um, also got these picture frames. They're really cool. Kind of looks like, like a cane detail. I went to grab one and I found two of them. So I have two. I'm probably going to take the images out and replace it with different pictures or maybe drawings of my own. Um, but these were... $6.99 a piece, um, so I got those. I also got, like, a little cat thing. It was probably about this big little porcelain thing, um, with, like, with flowers and stuff, uh, around her little head. Uh, super cute. I think that's out on my bookshelves already, though. Um, I also went to Hot Madre last weekend. I got this, um, Free People dress really cute. I love the color in it and it was nice and simple little dress with pockets. Um, I mean it's not simple. It's got this beautiful purple detailing and this like frayed detailing. Sorry there's cat hair on it. Um, it hasn't been washed yet and cat hair flies around our house quite a bit. Um, I also got this tank top by Hologram. This is a little plain white tank top with this little cute cutout in the back. Um, I just wanted a nice plain tank top. Um, I don't remember how much I paid for those items. She was having a buy one get one 50% off sale. Um, I also got this little ring here. You can see I also, I'm still wearing my ring that I got there last time. But um, it's really pretty. Those are actual flowers and stuff inside the ring. Uh, I think it's by Ever tiny little forest something like that but um I apologize I don't know the name very well a brand new company to me it's a little small business absolutely beautiful work um you can find her stuff on hot madre's instagram and then find her instagram from there um or on my instagram as well I, I tagged this ring on a post recently um oh and then Sorry, this is one from the last Goodwill trip. Uh, my daughter picked this out. It was 99 cents. Detective Mickey Mouse. She loves these little golden books. 
Um, yeah. Okay, so my other Goodwill trip to say, which I still have the items in bags. Um, my grand backstory, my grandmother collected bells. Um, and my daughter never got to meet my grandma. She passed away uh, when I was in high school. But this beautiful little unicorn bell. Picked that up today for $1.99. Um, for her room. And I told her about how her great-grandma used to collect those. So she was very excited about that. Also grabbed her this little butterfly tee that's going to go with a pair of jeans. I grabbed this Tommy Bahama. Yep, Tommy Bahama 100% silk Hawaiian shirt. You know, me and my Hawaiian shirts, I love them. Um, really light and airy, which is great for the summer, like if I want a tee, but I don't want to be too hot. Um, so I grabbed that. Also got... A lot of these items are were under $10 a piece. Um, this Friends t-shirt. Um, it's pretty plain. Has a logo on it. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bleach dye this. Um, I got this in the men's section. But I'm going to bleach dye it. Maybe crop it. Um, and then my husband. I got him this Oregon Ducks shirt. It's a long sleeve plain green tea. Can never have too many like plain long sleeves. Um, I also got this for my mom for me to tie dye because we in our home have been really recently into tie dyeing things and bleach dyeing obviously. Um, I got her this shirt with a stormtrooper. We're gonna tie dye that as well. Um, and then Sorry, this was wrapped in one of the clothing items. I think this was a bookend because it is very flat on the back. But it's like the little nursery rhyme. The cow jumped over the moon. I thought that was so pretty. Um, if I ever have a baby one day, I think this would be great. In a little baby decor room. Well, baby room with decor. <laughs> um, I also found this. American beer shirt for my husband. He likes beer. He thought the shirt was cool. So I got it. Uh, also got this um, How Can I Offend You Today shirt because my husband has mouth that has no filter and he, <laughs> he just offends everybody apparently. Um, I also forgot to tell you this item I got as the 50% off. It was $1.99. I got 50% off on it. Uh, other items I got at Goodwill. I got three Book of the Month books. I am a member of Book of the Month Club. Um, and sometimes I don't always get the books that they have or I haven't gotten any that were in the past. Um, this one was from July of 2018, but it was Ghosted. Um, I got that for $4.99. These books, uh, Book of the Month is a subscription where it's $14.99 a month and you get a hardback book. Uh, for like their four books that they, four or five books that they have for picks or maybe there's more. I don't remember. I usually just wait for the thrillers. This one's not a thriller, but, um, so I got this one. Um, and usually like even add-ons are $9.99. So this is still like half off of what you would get for an add-on. Um, I also got The Blinds, which is, I hadn't even seen this one, so I can't remember if I was a member when this came out, um, but it's from August 2017. And then, um, last one I got is One Day in December. Uh, this one's from December 2018. These are all $4.99 a piece, and I love Book of the Month. They, they always have really great authors um, for their books, and I think this one's like maybe a thriller or a mystery, and the other two aren't which is not what I usually pick when I pick my book of the month. But um, One Day in December and Ghosted were in my wish list in my book app that I have. Uh, I also picked up an R.L. Stein book, um, Silent Night 2. I don't think I have the first one, but I recently went through a box of all these old books of mine that I had since I was a kid, and I had a bunch of these little R.L. Stein books. Um, so I saw this, I thought that was pretty awesome to add to my collection. These, I think, are what got me into, like, thriller mystery books, was these R.L. Stein books, because they, they're so good. And I'm pretty sure everyone can agree R.L. Stein's really good. Um, also got this little guitar. It sounds pretty good for being so, something so little. 
But um, my daughter has a stuffed animal that she just carries around with her everywhere, and she involves him in everything. Um, and his name's Lawnmower, and she asked if Lawnmower could have this. Um, and I told her, I said, you already have little guitars. She goes, yeah, but they're too big for a lawnmower. So this, <laughs> this got picked up. It was only 99 cents, so that's okay. Now this, do not judge me on this item. I know my husband's going to judge me and probably my sister and everyone else that watches this video, but I thought it was too great not to get, especially when I collect a lot of cat item type stuff. Are you ready? It's a bottle opener of a cat butt. That is a cat butt. Almost positive that is a cat butt because it, I mean it could be a dog, but a lot of times the cats just got their little pucker right here of their butt. Um, I know it's weird, but I'm gonna put it with my cat stuff. I have like a a cat um, cork collector, and I also have a cat wine bottle, and um, so I thought this would look great next to those. <laughs> um, a lot of judgment's gonna happen with that one. Uh, I also went to Plato's Closet, which, you know, I, I don't always get the best when I sell there, honestly. Um, I guess stuff that I wear is not on trend, um, or just stuff that sells really well in their store location, because I go to the one in Vancouver. Um, I do try to sell a lot of my stuff at Hot Madre first, um, because she is a mama-owned business, and... Um, she is one single store, um, but uh, I only they only bought 10 items off me, and I think I bought 10 items, and I paid double than what they offered me for my items, so that kind of sucks, but I'm still going to show you what I got. Um, I got this cute tiger hat. My husband's going to hate me for this one because I'm always going around saying the TikTok Carol Baskin thing, um, but I... I had to get it. I like these little baseball hats, like these little dad hats. I think they're cute. Um, I finally am comfortable enough to wear them and not, you know, think badly about myself. Um, I also got a cute little sports bra, which I wear sports bras for work, um, so they're much needed. I also got a couple little, like, this one's free people, little bralettes. Um, I don't really wear normal bras anymore. I only wear sports bras or bralettes. Um, so I grabbed these. I didn't try them on. Uh, I didn't try any of the bras on. Hopefully they fit. This one's Wacol. I don't know what company that is. Hopefully they fit. If not, I mean, they just get redonated, I guess. Um, sorry. Just this, like, little lacy one. Uh, I also got these pants from Topshop. I've never owned a Topshop item before, um, probably because I always thought that they were more catered to smaller women, um, and so I've never really shopped there, but uh, I saw these on the Plato's Closet website, and I saw finally went in the store to sell my items, and I was like, okay, I gotta try these on. These give my mom vertigo, because <laughs> they're the little check, but they have these cute little ruffle on the bottom, and yes, my fupa does stick out with these pants. But, um, I thought they were cute and for maybe one day, uh, wear them if I ever get pregnant because I thought they'd be good pregnancy pants. But they're also really comfortable, so if I ever want to be cute but comfortable, these are the pants for that. Um, I also, I, I've been scoring with some free people stuff. I really like their stuff. Um, but I found this little top. I really like these little... They're not peasant tops, I don't think. Um, but I always love my button-up tops, and then I love these, like, little puffy kind of sleeves. Um, but I got that. That was Free People. It's really cute. Uh, I got this American Eagle top, which is this inside out. There we go. Uh, this American Eagle top. Just a simple little floral, pretty thin, long sleeve. Great for spring and maybe even summer nights, and I'll probably definitely wear it into the fall. Um, it has a really cute back to it, just this little keyhole back. Um, well, it's not little. It's a big keyhole back, but it'd be cute with, like, a little bralette sticking out in the back. Um, I have, like, my shop arc bra bralettes, and uh, I think my green one would look really cute with that. Uh, I got this Lauren Conrad t-shirt. Uh, if you know me... 
well enough. You know, I'm obsessed with Lauren Conrad. I really need to do, like, a closet haul of all my Lauren Conrad stuff and, like, how I would style each item. Um, but I found this just, like, basic tee. Really lightweight. Um, it's not rainbow, but it's close. Um, but it's a really thin, cute shirt. Uh, I always love a good basic. And then, finally, I got these Nike pants. Um, because I wear yoga pants to work. And I, I think, ripped, like, three pairs of my work pants in, like, the last couple months. I just was at work the other day and realized I had holes in the sides of my pants. So I was like, well, I'm going to try on. I tried on six pairs of pants and only found these once. Uh, that's the hard thing about thrifting, um, is, you know, sometimes you don't look out. I was really hoping to get, like, a couple pairs of work pants, um, but this is what I found. Nike, they're very comfortable. Obviously, they're worn, so I, they're not going to shrink or anything like that because they've been worn down, um, but I got those for 10 bucks for a pair of Nike pants. They're great. And the last thing I got, sometimes they have, like, little prepackaged stuff. They have, like, scrunchies, chapsticks, all that. Um, I got this little pin. I don't know if it's going to focus. It says 11 on it with a waffle. Um, Stranger Things. Love that. But I saw that when I was checking out. That little spot is dangerous when you're sitting there waiting for them to ring up your stuff. Um, but yeah, so that is what I hauled. Um, I also have the two other items I got at Goodwill. Uh, one was this beautiful picture frame with press real press flowers on it. Um, I sent it to a fellow thrifter um, named Juniper Haas on Instagram. Um, she is the one who posted some of like, those picture frames uh, on Instagram and said these are things I found but didn't buy. And I was like, oh, I love those picture frames. And then I, you know, want to do a nice thing and I grabbed her press flower one because she said she regretted not buying it and I sent it to her. She lives out in Oregon. So um, I sent that out to her and I also got a Noah's Ark toy box for, I want to say it was $7.99. It was an actual like Noah's Ark toy box. Um, you lift the lid, the lid of the boat and the, all the toys can go in there. I have some friends that they are naming their son Noah and I saw it and my friend was like, yes, if you can fit in your car, please grab it. So I grabbed it. It was originally $24.99 is what Goodwill had it marked down, marked for. And then it kept getting marked down. It got marked down at $7.99. So it was a, I think that was like the best out of all my haul was finding that. Because it was in great condition and it's going to be great for the little boy when he comes. And well, and he's old enough to get into a toy box. Um, so yeah, I will try and insert pictures of those items here at the end. Thank you so much for watching, you guys, and um, hopefully I'll see you soon. Maybe I'll do some other videos that aren't thrift videos. That way I can keep making videos for you guys. Maybe a closet try-on haul or showing you our tie-dye items that we've done. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But thanks for watching, you guys. See ya.